thanks for joining me. I'm here to talk about the Ella Automotive User Interface. What is it? It's a touchscreen interface designed to be used in a moving vehicle, car, truck, lawnmower, whatever your pleasure. If you want to put wheels on your bed and drive it around, this interface will make your touchscreen device a lot easier to use. Hi there. Like most of you, I like to mow my lawn. And when I mow, I like to mow hard. Enter Ella, the future in home lawn mowing technology. There's so many features, I don't know where to begin, but let me just drop a few on you. When I'm plowing through my lawn at breakneck speeds, I'd like to know my intake, my throttle, my coolants, how fast I'm really going. Let's say I missed a patch of grass. I can go back in time by hitting the rewind button and get that nagging piece of weed cluster. The next piece I'd like to introduce is the geothermal technology that tells me how hot my septic units are underneath the ground. This can also be incorporated into Google Maps, which is really nice. I can get an aerial shot to see what kind of patterns I'm mowing and if they're up to snuff. Lastly is the friends icon. I can see who else is mowing their lawn at the same time as me and if I'm beating them. In conclusion, Ella is the perfect addition to your John Deere solution. Unless you're some kind of loser that uses a craftsman. I think I'm gonna check on my engine right now. Oh shit, no! No, 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 no! There's some things in life that we don't have the luxury of replacing in six to 12 months, like cell phones or electronics, slap bracelets. But there's some things we make an investment in that we wanna keep, and we make that gamble that it's gonna last a long time. This fake brick, for example. This is not something I'd tear down if trends change and everybody goes to pink rhinestones. This was an investment that I'm not gonna remove. Now, when we're talking about vehicles, we're making a 20, 30, 15, it doesn't really matter, it's a lot of money. And the problem is those cars may last forever, but the technology inside them is gonna be as outdated as our cell phones are within a year or two. And the manufacturers aren't designing systems that are updatable or adaptable. So the Ella interface is something that I wanted to make adaptable to change. And that's where the A of Ella comes in. It is an adaptable interface. It's something that should be able to withstand the test of time that will change with the trends and the technology regardless of the hardware. And that's something you're not gonna get from the cars that are being built today. Get directions to Creative Nails too. It's easy to check directions, play music while I'm getting ready, and then throw it in my bag and go in the car. Okay, so how do we summarize this? This is the Hyundai Veloster. This is an LG designed head unit in conjunction with Hyundai. Now you can see here you have disc, USB, iPod, aux, phone music, Pandora, my photo, plus XM, AM, FM, radio, um, you name it, there's a lot of stuff on here plus navigation. Now, that's the good part. Now the bad part is, is that uh, what happens if there's no more Pandora in a couple of years? What happens when Apple stops making an iPod or the connector is no longer compatible with the car? Um, other things like the map software is all reliant on manual updates from a USB disk that you have to pay for. So in terms of the whole head unit software, there's no provision for the customer to update this on their own. You have to take it to the dealership when they do release an update. So what you have here is a snapshot of exactly what you're gonna have eight or nine years down the road. So as you can see, 
uh, as with most car touchscreen interfaces, there's a ton of menus. You're going from place to place, backing out. Um, when I designed this interface, that's something I wanted to avoid. So as of right now, it's installed for the users on a USB stick. They plug it in and the interface comes up. The goal was to keep all the core functionalities on one screen. Very easy to use. So when you hit play to play your music, it's all on the same screen. Touch seek control, so you're not having to hold down an arrow to seek. You just tap where you want to go to rewind. It's very simple to do. Forward, backward, obviously simple. It's all on one screen. So if you're done, you can still see it there. Your common functions are on one screen. So now, going to the FRS, there's some trade-offs, right? It's a fun to drive car, but they had to sacrifice a lot of things to keep the cost down. And one of that was the interior and especially the technology. Okay, we're inside the FRS and this is the ELA or ELA interface for Android. And basically you can see it's very much like the Veloster interface, just a little bit more um, refined. Uh, and there's a lot more going on here that you can do, uh, obviously because it's Android and not a proprietary format. So uh, you can scroll back and forth three pages. You can also uh, customize this to how many pages you want. Um, but right now, this is the base of how it would actually look. Your home screen is here. Uh, you put the keys in. Let's start this car up. Okay. And the tablet does turn off as soon as the power's off. Uh, it will turn off if, after a minute, and then when it's on, it stays on until you turn it off. Uh, but basically, this is your interface. Simple play and pause right from the, the main screen. Okay, and then once you're in the music player, this is power amp, which I find to be the absolute most user-friendly interface for the car possible. It's all gestures. You really don't have to uh, think about what you're doing. You just swipe one way or another. You can shuffle it. And uh, Power Amp also does a great job of finding all your album art. So, um, your music's controlled from there. You can use the arrows to go forward or back for music as well. Video player, uh, which I don't have any videos loaded. We have Google Local, which pulls your GPS information. You have maps, Culver's, there you go, Google. Uh, it works exactly how Google navigation works and it works very well. Um, that really there's no need for any other navigation once you have this working. Obviously I have a data connection in my car so it works fine. Uh, you have your photo gallery which goes right to a slideshow so you can be listening to your music and not paying attention to the road and watching photos go by. I have Flickster loaded on here uh, so I can find the most recent movies and theater uh, close by the JVC app which connects to my head unit so I can control all that through here um, <clears throat> And then we have Torque widgets, which if you're on uh, an iPhone or iOS uh, Torque is basically uh, a car app that connects to your engine computer so you can monitor all the data um, that your car is giving out, like throttle, speed, intake temperature, coolant temperature, basically any sensors that you have available, uh, the Torque app will pick up. So as you can see right here through uh, the, the Ella interface, I can monitor all this stuff. Also control music. So it's as simple as that, all within the same interface. Double tap to go to settings. This goes all to your Android settings. And of course, this is all customizable. Um, to bring down your notification bar, just simple swipe down. Um, if you want to go home, obviously it takes you back to your home screen when you're not there. And then it brings up your other applications. Play Store, everything that is on an Android tablet is on here. It's just into a usable interface. 
Uh, we go into torque. We have the racing meter, which is perfect for those who do track days, who record in-car camera footage. This gives you all your vital data. Shift lights, uh, RPM meter, water temperature, or coolant temperature, air intake temperature sensor, speed, best zero to 50 or whatever you program it to, and it knows what gear you're in. So it's kind of one of those, as you can see, that's exactly what it does. So perfect for the car enthusiast. Check fault codes. Check real-time info. If you have your gauges set up, you can... This is how my gauge setup's laid out. Basically the same thing in a more generic look. And really, that is about it. I mean, completely customizable. Um, and... Uh, Hopefully this gives you a basic overview of how everything works. Okay, so let's sum it up. I'm freezing out here, you're bored. So the bottom line is I have a working proof of concept on the Nexus 7 for the Android platform. I also have a, a design for Windows CE for the Hyundai Veloster. Now with the Veloster, I've had 5,000 unique downloads, give or take, of course. Um, and I think what it shows is that there's a demand for something like this, that's just one model. Uh, for the Android side, really, uh, the sky's the limit. I've taken it as far as I can by myself, um, and I'm not a programmer or developer by trade. I do work in IT, obviously, but um, I need somebody, I need people, programmers and developers to help me take this to the next level. I plan on taking a, out a small business loan and uh, setting some money aside to get this off the ground. I'm not looking to make a killing. I just want the project to see the light of day and meet the demand that I've seen so far. So it's really an open call to developers and programmers that are experienced to contact me. Let me know if you can make this happen. Um, and then secondly, for the people who want it, uh, what I need mostly is just to either subscribe, respond to the video and say that, hey, you want this software, um, and then, or respond to my Google Plus uh, page for this actual Ella interface project. But I think from there, um, I'm hoping to get the project done in less than six months because I really don't want it to be vaporware. I'm okay with just using it myself. Um, but I put a lot of work in and I really believe in this project and I just need more help getting it off the ground. So, with that said, thanks.